Tracking masks just got even easier with our new Mocha magnetic and freehand tools. I will show you how to quickly trace or draw around objects in the Pixel Chooser filter. But these roto techniques will work in any continuum filter that contains the Pixel Chooser with Mocha. In this tutorial, I will isolate objects inside of Avid for simple or advanced compositing techniques. This workflow will work in any other host continuum supports. First, I apply the Pixel Chooser filter, set the output to alpha, set the channel to alpha under Pixel Chooser Mat, and launch Mocha under the Pixel Chooser Options Mocha Mask Track. Once inside Mocha, I select my desired spline creation tool. I will choose Magnetic Spline. Mocha's newest Magnetic Spline tool is an edge snapping assistant that helps users fluidly create shapes with less clicking and tangent editing. It will follow the raster edges of your subject and convert them to fully editable vector masks, just like this. When the magnetism gets lost, I simply click to add an anchor point and let Mocha continue tracing the edge from that point. When you are close to the end, right-click and the shape is converted to an X-spline automatically. Mocha shapes are always editable once the edges have been placed. Another new tool is the Freehand Spline tool. Sometimes you just want to draw a quick shape right onto your screen. For some simple shapes, it is often faster to simply draw the line and deal with the handles afterwards. The Freehand Spline is just that. Draw a quick, fluid shape on one frame with one gesture using your tablet or mouse and it is converted to an X-spline for further adjustment and animation. Both the Magnetic and Freehand Spline tools have a detail parameter. Once the spline is closed, we can select the tool's detail if we want to simplify the general shape fitting with less tangents or more. So, if I am using Mocha for some quick garbage matting to assist a color grading session, I might simply use the freehand tool to define some quick mask areas. It's all about time savings. The magnetic spline and freehand tools also work together and we can actually switch between these modes while creating a single shape. This means that I can start by selecting the magnetic spline tool, but when I get to a similar color as the background or have no edge to follow like I do here, I can click and hold as I draw. This switches the tool from magnetism to freehand and is a very useful, organic way to work. We let the software find the edges, but switch over to freehand when we hit a blurry or unclear edge. Note that if you are using the magnetic spline by the edge of the frame, it will automatically switch over to freehand so you can smoothly roto objects that travel off screen. Magnetic and freehand tools have the Add to Layer button in the spline drop down menu. We use this when we want to subtract or add shapes to the same layer. Where the shapes overlap, they subtract. And where the shapes are side by side, they add. Now that you know what these tools do, let's go ahead and hit Track Forward and track our roto layers all at once. Mocha will process the track for any layer with the gear icon turned on, so be sure to turn the gear off once your track is complete, if you do not want to retrack that area. I have sped this track up so that you don't have to wait the half minute this shot takes to process. Once our track for our roto shapes is complete, I can adjust any spline points along the edge. Since the magnetic spline only snaps when you first apply it, you may have to manually adjust edges. However, because the spline track is driving your roto shape and acting as your roto assistant, you should make about a third of the keyframes you would normally create and rotoscope in literally half the time that it would normally take you. And with the track driving the roto in the first place, the natural motion hides any roto sins you may have committed. Once you are satisfied with your roto, you can simply save and close Mocha. Back in your host, you can adjust the shape settings, like feathering, directly in the continuum mat controls. And just like that, I can isolate objects inside of Avid for advanced compositing techniques, such as putting text or particles behind this boxer's arm and punching bag. Being able to quickly create roto shapes inside of Avid is a welcome feature in the Continuum toolset and can be used for all sorts of editing tasks, like color correction, witness protection, beauty work, and more. To find out more, visit BorisFX.com.